Search and rescue teams are continuing their efforts to find survivors of flash floods that swamped eastern Kentucky. At least 19 people, including six children, were killed when torrential rains dumped as much as 10 and a half inches. Search and rescue teams continue their desperate work in eastern Kentucky, scouring valleys where catastrophic floods have already erased entire towns. Families mourn their loved ones. The death toll climbs. And yet, as devastating as this disaster is, another phenomenon, quieter, invisible, but potentially far more significant, is unfolding in the very same region. It is a discovery that has rattled the scientific community and triggered urgent warnings from geologists who rarely, if ever, sound alarms in this part of the world. For centuries, the Appalachian Mountains have been a symbol of endurance, a spine of ancient ridges stretching down the eastern United States. They are old, worn, and steady. Or at least, they were. Satellite data has revealed something that seems impossible. The crust beneath these ancient hills is rising. The Appalachians, thought to be fading into geological silence, are stirring again. And not in slow motion, measured across the span of human lifetimes, but in sudden, measurable leaps. This is not erosion. This is not the gentle bowing of stone under seasonal shifts. This is uplift, happening now, happening fast, and happening across a wide swath of America's oldest mountains. The first alarms were raised when a series of satellite passes, equipped with synthetic aperture radar and advanced interferometry, began registering vertical shifts across parts of West Virginia, Virginia, Eastern Kentucky, and Tennessee. At first, the data seemed like noise, an error perhaps, but each new sweep confirmed the same shocking result. The ground had risen, not by a fraction of a millimeter as scientists sometimes record, not by the subtle creep of glacial rebounds seen in far northern regions, but by as much as 12 centimeters in less than a single week. For context, the Himalayas, still growing as the Indian Plate slams into Asia, rise at about 5 millimeters per year. The Andes, formed by subduction along the Pacific Rim, rise at a similar pace. A centimeter of movement is considered enormous, but more than 10 centimeters in a week in the Appalachians of all places is beyond extraordinary. It is unprecedented. The Appalachians are supposed to be finished, their glory days of mountain building buried in deep time, formed during the assembly of Pangaea more than 400 million years ago. They once soared like the Himalayas of today, but over the eons, Rain, ice, and wind wore them down, transforming jagged peaks into rounded ridges. For millions of years, they were considered a passive range, devoid of tectonic drama, a geological graveyard where only erosion did its slow work. The idea that they could suddenly surge upward again is rewriting everything scientists thought they knew about continental interiors. So what could possibly be causing this? Geologists are scrambling for answers, and theories are rapidly being debated in labs and conference calls. One possibility is mantle dynamics. Deep beneath Earth's crust, in the semi-molten mantle, plumes of hot material sometimes rise. These plumes can push on the crust above, causing uplift. Similar processes are active beneath Yellowstone and the East African Rift. Could a mantle plume be awakening beneath the Appalachians? If so, it would be the first such discovery in this region and it would challenge decades of geological thinking that treated the eastern United States as tectonically dead. Another possibility is delamination. In this process, the lower layers of the crust peel away and sink into the mantle, causing the remaining crust to rebound upward like a released spring. This has been observed in the Sierra Nevada and the Andes, but never before in the eastern U.S. If delamination is now occurring beneath the Appalachians, it could signal a deep reconfiguration of the region's entire lithosphere. More cautious voices suggest the cause might be simpler, perhaps a late stage of glacial isostatic rebound, the slow rise of land after being weighed down by ice sheets thousands of years ago. But this theory doesn't fully hold. Most post-glacial rebound has slowed to imperceptible levels, especially here, where ice sheets were thinner. The scale and speed of this uplift far exceed what glacial rebound could explain. And then there is the most concerning possibility of all. That rapid crustal movement may be reactivating ancient fault systems buried deep within the range. The Appalachians are laced with old sutures from continental collisions, fossil scars of Earth's restless past. For hundreds of millions of years, they have been locked, silent. 
but if these faults are being stressed by new uplift, they could slip again, producing earthquakes in a region not prepared for them. Already, seismographs in the region have recorded a noticeable uptick in micro-tremors. Tiny quakes, too small to feel, but ominous in their implications. This is not a local anomaly. The uplift is spread across a broad area, which rules out causes like underground fluid injection, mining, or gas extraction that sometimes deform the land. This is something deeper, more systemic, something rooted in the foundation of the continent itself. The implications are staggering. Urban centers such as Charleston, Roanoke, and Knoxville lie near the uplift zone. Bridges, highways, and pipelines crisscross the region, all built under the assumption of geological stability. If the ground continues to move, that assumption collapses. Infrastructure strained by vertical shifts can crack, twist, or fail. Water systems are especially vulnerable. Rivers might shift course. Aquifers might change flow. Reservoirs could be stressed. Even subtle changes in watershed topography can lead to devastating floods in some places and droughts in others. The Tennessee and New Rivers, critical to the region's ecology and economy, could find their paths altered over time by this unexpected upheaval. The red alert issued by geological authorities is not just a scientific notice. It is a call to preparedness. For communities that have never experienced a significant earthquake, drills are being held. Schools are teaching children how to respond to tremors. Homeowners are noticing new cracks in their walls and foundations, wondering if they are the first signs of instability. Insurance companies are reassessing their risk models. Energy companies are suspending some drilling operations, fearing that shifting ground could compromise wells and pipelines. Meanwhile, scientists are throwing every tool they have at the mystery. Satellites continue daily sweeps. Ground-based GPS arrays are being recalibrated to measure even the tiniest shifts. Magnetometers mounted on drones and aircraft have begun detecting faint anomalies in magnetic fields over the region, suggesting that minerals in the crust are being physically displaced. Boreholes are being monitored for temperature changes, and already subtle increases are being noted, hinting at the possibility of heat rising from below. Even gases are under scrutiny. Springs and fissures are being sampled for helium isotopes, and some results show elevated ratios of helium-3, a clear signal of material rising from deep within the mantle. If confirmed, this would strongly support the mantle plume hypothesis. The scientific world is transfixed, but so too are ordinary people. Stories are circulating of wells running dry in one valley while flooding in another, of new fissures opening in farm fields, of animals behaving strangely as if sensing something humans cannot. In the Appalachian forests, botanists report altered blooming cycles and odd migrations, possible signs of ecosystems reacting to subtle shifts in soil and water. Local indigenous communities have also been drawn into the conversation. Many Native American traditions describe the Appalachians as sleeping giants, resting but not dead, prone to stirring in times of imbalance. For generations, these were viewed as legends, but now some scientists are revisiting such stories for metaphorical insights. Oral histories may contain observations of land changes, animal behavior, or atmospheric anomalies that modern science once overlooked. In a moment of uncertainty, any data, ancient or modern, may hold value. What worries geologists most is the unknown. Why now? Why here? Why in a region believed to be stable for so long? Is this the first stage of a new mountain building cycle? Could the Appalachians rise again, reshaping the eastern United States over millions of years? Or is this a temporary spasm, a surge that will subside as quickly as it came? The answers are not clear, and that uncertainty is what drives the red alert. Some scientists are beginning to think bigger. Perhaps the North American plate itself is changing, bending, or flexing in ways not fully understood. The idea that tectonic plates are rigid and immovable, except at their boundaries, is being challenged. Plates may bend, warp, or flex across their interiors, producing distributed deformation over long timescales. The Appalachians could be the visible expression of such stresses, the surface ripple of forces acting deep within the heart of the continent. If that is true, then other so-called stable regions such as the Ozarks or even the Midwestern Shield could be vulnerable to similar surprises. What is happening in Appalachia may be the first warning sign of broader changes reshaping North America itself. For now, 
The uplift continues, not at the explosive pace of its first detection, but steadily enough to confirm that this is no short-lived glitch. Satellites show the ground still rising. Seismographs still record tremors. Water systems are shifting. Scientists continue to monitor, to measure, to model. But the Earth is moving to its own rhythm, revealing its secrets only slowly. And so the world waits, not in panic, but in awe and vigilance. The Appalachians, once thought to be a relic of Earth's violent youth, are speaking again. Their message is not yet clear. It may be the whisper of a continent bending under unseen forces, or the first roar of something much greater, awakening beneath our feet. What is certain is this. The crust we live on is alive with motion. Even the oldest mountains, the ones we assumed were finished, can surprise us. The Appalachians are rising. The ground is shifting. The earth is reminding us that stillness is only an illusion. If the uplift continues, the Appalachians could gradually transform into a region of extreme geological instability. Roads that cut across mountain passes may begin to buckle, tunnels could warp, and critical infrastructure like dams and pipelines might face stresses they were never designed to handle. The region has already been battered by climate-driven disasters, from the historic flooding in Kentucky to powerful storms sweeping up the East Coast. Adding deep geological unrest into that equation could amplify risks beyond what communities are prepared for. At the same time, scientists stress that this may not necessarily mean an immediate catastrophe. The Earth moves in cycles, sometimes slowly, sometimes with surprising bursts of energy. It is possible that the uplift could stabilize, fading into the background of natural geological fluctuations. Yet the speed and scale of what satellites have observed cannot simply be dismissed. Whether this is the start of a profound reshaping of one of the world's oldest mountain ranges, or just a passing anomaly, remains unknown. For now, researchers are racing to monitor every centimeter, every tremor, every sign that these quiet mountains might be finding their voice once again after hundreds of millions of years of silence.